Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for all signs. Whenever you hear the messages, when you're meant to receive it. All right. Keep in mind, this could be past, present or future. This could be your story or the story of someone that is in your energy, knowingly or unknowingly. <laughs> so, um, honestly, I'm trying to laugh to keep from crying, you guys. Um, yesterday, the camera cut off during a reading. There is a very intense energy that's happening right now and it's not good and i hate to be the person that shares this information but it's what i have to do so in the reading that i did earlier you can see these flowers here nothing is wrong with them but you see this flower here how it's sticking out during the reading all the petals of the white row one of the white roses just fell off just like this these are the three oracle cards that were left and i'll go over this in a minute this is not going to be a card reading um those of you who have been with me i'm pretty sure that you would trust my insight and my guidance i don't normally come on and do readings without cards the reading that i did earlier uh, i was called not to post it just yet but i just want to tell you guys that we have the very first full moon of this year coming up um or maybe it's i know it's not the first full moon is it the first full moon or new moon it's the second full moon that's coming up february 5th right now you guys you are this message honestly could save your life or the life of someone that you know that is around you, um, could be a divine counterpart, friend, family member, or whatever. I'm going to share with you just uh, the gist of a lot of things that you need to know. The reading earlier, I was talking about the time machine, okay? The karmic cycles in your life that are coming to a permanent ending, whether it's in romance, poverty, if it's a result of karma that you've created knowingly or unknowingly, karma that you're carrying from your 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 ancestors or whatever it is okay the details aren't all that important right now but you do need to know that the spiritual attack that is happening on divine beings right now is very very serious the enemy right now is trying to rush in to ensure that everything that is destined for you this year is blocked these rituals were started last year okay People are using the power of three. You have a lot of different secret societies and, and various groups. And they are using a lot of forbidden magic, heavy, heavy black magic to keep you stuck in a cycle. Now, what has been revealed to me is, and I have readings. If you look at my readings for the last, I'll just say a month, this energy has been coming out. There's a lot of matriarchs of families who are about to take major falls because what these people and these families have done is in order to maintain a certain image in order to maintain wealth in order to keep certain cycles going in order to keep things in the family they have made a lot of different sacrifices they've caused people in their family to sacrifice partners and so forth but what I'm hearing also, you guys, and I'm going to, I've heard the name of deities, different, the magic that's been used and everything. This all came in me like a ton of bricks. Okay. You guys need to know for some of you, you are about to enter a very significant partnership in your life. It could be romantic. It could be business. It could be whatever, but whatever your blessing is, but especially your blessing of you having a certain level of protection around you your home your finances your possessions or whatever is what's being attacked the reason why this is being attacked is because you've had a lot of people who have been um stealing your energy and harvesting it for themselves for them to manifest wealth abundance and to also have protection i've been talking a lot about people shape-shifting and things like that all shapeshifters are not bad and when i speak of shape-shifting i'm referring to energetically shape-shifting you can check out the reading from yesterday you do have people, though, who are tapping into the ability to actually physically shapeshift. 
there's a lot of different illusions that are being casted, a lot of conjuring, a lot of casting that's happening. And what people are doing right now, most importantly, so you really may want to up your protection and call in your spiritual team is they're trying to cause a lot of distance between you and the people that are closest to you because you have people around you, friends, family, lovers, or whomever who believe it or not, they spiritually protect you. These individuals are doing a lot of womb magic on divine feminists because they do not want you to procreate. They do not want you to be in the feminine energy of being fertile and abundant because they want to take your energy of abundance for themselves. A lot of you have something within your, your chart, within your bloodline that allows you to manifest wealth. And you probably are saying, well, I've never had any money. I never have had any much of anything. It's because for the majority of your life, people have recognized this, this star um, quality about you and they've manifested off of it for a very long time. Some of you need to realize that you've been not just the black sheep of your family, but throughout life, you know that you have gifts, talents, and abilities, yet you're always low man on the totem pole, right? Well, it's time for the last to be first and the first to be last. These individuals right now, you guys, are doing a lot of different stuff. And they're making these sacrifices mostly for fame and fortune. I'm putting out a lot of stuff right now that many of you, you already know, you already see it. But for me, it was placed on my heart because I wasn't, I'm not going to post the reading that I did earlier. But for some of us, there's a huge price in putting this information out. You have people that are calling on different deities. Some of you are experiencing a lot of crazy deja vu when you're wondering, you know, are you in some type of alternate reality, parallel universe? Somebody is trying to keep you stuck in a matrix. This is a puppet master type of situation. And you will be surprised of the heavy magic that is being done for people to um, get certain things done. What is very, very sad, confusing, and, and just scary about this situation is these people are hiding a lot of them behind religion. OK, um, a lot of people to cover up things they're 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 hiding behind church and nonprofit organizations and things like that that you think are helping the community. But what they're actually doing is they're calling in a lot of innocent, naive, gullible, good, pure hearted energies in for them to actually enter energy harvest and manifest. I've had some personal things that have happened recently and it's all very symbolic, but I just want you guys and, and I hope that everyone is praying for the greatest good of, of everyone. Like I said, even if it's me, if I come up missing or something happens to me, you already know. It's just because the messenger has been shot and that's really the time that we're on. OK, there is a cycle in your life that is over. A lot of you have. A friend, a family member, a lover, it could be all of the above that have been manifesting off of your energy. As soon as these people experience this cord cutting, okay, spiritually, everything for them stops. What they need most is the protection. A lot of people are facing legal situations because they have businesses and other dealings in their life that are just a cover up but they've kept certain people around so that you your energy would would keep them safe okay some of you this is for sure an ex-lover of yours okay you could have been married to this person you could have had children with them it may have never been a relationship it's probably someone you considered as a twin flame or whatever this person recognized the light about you they probably were always a part of some type of secret society or practicing certain things in the occult. They had some kind of ancient wisdom, knowledge, esoteric knowledge or whatever. And they've actually used it against you for a very long time, most likely without your knowledge. A lot of you now are awakening at a very rapid rate. 
So although you may not know everything, you know that there's certain things in your life that don't make sense. Getting back to this time loop, time is priceless. Time is also an illusion. It really does not exist in the spiritual realm. Okay. These narcissistic dark energies that we are fighting against, they honestly want to be in a position of God. They are trying now to manipulate time. They can't manipulate time, but you can manipulate energy. Energy is never destroyed. Some of you are growing, you're ascending, your soul is evolving. People are trying to recreate situations from your past. In hopes that you will be in the same energy, energy, the same frequency, the vi same vibration that you were at that time that they were able to capture you. Because this is what they're trying to do. They want to capture you. So if they can get you in this energy of feeling weak, wounded, tired, sick or whatever, that's what they're trying to do. Some of you, again, you're experiencing situations where it seems like you're probably saying I've been here before I've done this. What these individuals are doing is they are reaching into your, they're getting into your psyche. They're, they're trying to hypnotize you and all kinds of stuff. And oftentimes this type of magic or whatever this manipulation is, you can barely even tell that it's actually happening. Okay. Because you're in an illusion. There's a lot of casting and conjuring of illusions that is happening. You're going about your regular day, not realizing that you're actually in some type of loop like you're in a time loop or something so some of you have karmic things that have happened in your life and you can remember how you reacted and responded it's coming back around i spoke about this about two weeks ago because this energy is getting heavier and heavier it's intensifying every day you're facing those same situations now and spirit is testing you yes but you also have individuals who are who were there during that time of your life and they were able to capture you energetically and spiritually. They are hoping that now you will put your life force energy aside, yellow, sacral energy, solar plexus energy, and stop trying to live this golden life so that they can capture you. They want you to go back to how it was when you were down just about on your knees and you were naive, you were gullible and you didn't know anything that way. They can make sure that in the next seven to 10 years, they can capture you and your energy. Some of you, we've talked about being spiritual assassins, and it's time for you now to get to understand your mission and your purpose. OK. You are going to have to try to protect yourself and your bloodline by any means necessary. Some of you, you have a divine counterpart. That person is trying to protect you. You're trying to protect that person. The problem is, is that both of you are not quite as awakened as the other. Some of you, because of a connection, certain groups and entities are now after you. I had a reading where I said you've become prey for the devil because what's better than one sacrifice Two, of course, these people are trying to sacrifice these twin flames, these divine counterparts, divine beings. Or whatever they want to sacrifice you to get rid of you because of the work that you're meant to do they want to make sure that these certain spiritual babies do not come about these individuals who have all of these gifts talents and abilities that's going to recognize them there's a birth of a lot of seers and psychics that is coming and a lot of people are tapping into their energy now so some of the things that i saw is you have for for, for one there's nothing wrong with you going to church or, what, or believing in the Bible. No, nothing at all wrong with that. Everybody has their own beliefs, whether you subscribe to being Christian or whatever. But I want you guys to be very careful because you have a lot of people in the church that are actually the ones that's behind all of this. These people, and I had a reading about this about a month ago. You have people who are really about to pay the cost for using the Bible to cast and conjure all of these spells. Okay. Something about the number five, something about the power of three. Okay. Um,
Some of you guys are experiencing a lot of issues with your car. You could be experiencing flu-like symptoms. You could be having crying spells. These are psychic attacks. There are also people who are sending different um, energetic frequencies to you. They're trying to manipulate your chakras. They're trying to close off the third eye. They're tapping into your Akashic records. They're doing a lot. And let me explain to you, a lot of you guys are dealing with people who are either a part of very elite and affluent groups or they are making sacrifices so that they can be in those groups. Please understand the seriousness or the severity of these situations because these individuals have a lot of resources. Okay. They have a lot of resources. Again, they're trying to remove your spiritual protection so that they can penetrate your energy because they've had difficulty in doing that as of lately. I was just out before I decided to come and do this message and I was driving near the lake and I saw somebody walking three dogs and the three dogs, they... Could have been like Siberian Huskies or something like that, but it, it it reminded me of three wolves. Some of you, you have at least about three people around you, and these are wolves in sheep's clothing. They are shapeshifters. They are not who you think they are, and they are planning an attack. There is a serious attack that is planned for a lot of people. It's happening tomorrow or within about the next three to seven days, okay? You have people who are using money. They're using music and other things. These individuals right now, you guys, and I did hear specifically Mami Wata. Okay. They're calling on these different deities in order to manifest fame and fortune. And they're using your energy to power themselves up to utilize certain gifts and to do forbidden magic. I kept hearing, wake up, love, wake up, love. This is that, you know, even Isis, Osiris type of energy, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Okay. A lot of things are being hidden and covered up. Some of you need to make sure that right now you're being very pure. I just want to get my nails done. And of course I keep my nails white. But when I saw that this, these white, this white rose, you can see these flowers, these are not dead flowers. You can see them. These flowers, and I may eventually release the video, Lord willing. They fell down like this. Signs, synchronicities, and omens are everywhere if you pay attention, okay? Some of you right now, because you're, you're experiencing an attack, the way that you're getting your signs, symbols, and the synchronicities of your downloads, it's different. And I spoke about this in a reading this week. Let's say, for instance, if you're typically a dreamer where now all of a sudden clear audience is coming in, this is because right now you are under a major attack and it could lead to, for some, a traumatic experience. That is oftentimes when you realize that you have a certain gift because for some people it's, it's dangerous, the things that are happening. There's something even about oral sex. A lot of people are releasing these incubus, succubus, Jezebel spirits, spiritual spouses. They're placing a lot of blockages in your path. People are often uh, are also giving you various gifts. These gifts are to track and to monitor you. I talked a few weeks ago about you guys cleaning up house, getting rid of boxes and keepsakes and things like that. You have people and items and all these different things. They hold energy. Again, people are wondering how can they turn back the hands of time to get you back to where you were when they first captured you. I have a reading that I did several months ago and I talked about the divine feminine. And I remember I cried in their reading and I said, for some of you, people have treated you like you were just the one of the litter and they could feed you cold cat food and, and just leave you out to... to just throw you to the wolves, not knowing that you were that majestic lion the entire time. It's now time for a lot of you to start roaring. 
You talk to your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, and you figure out what that means for you. But you're going to have to really fight back this time. And I want to speak to some people who watch tarot, but they are still more religious. Nothing wrong with however you choose to worship, praise or whatever. But let me let me explain to you. Faith without work is dead. To go out and think that. And I like I hear people say, you know, well, God got me. That's true. But you need to make sure that you are equipping yourself. Spiritually, energetically. When these different things come to you. A lot of these things is the reason why you've gone through so much to prepare for time such as now. This is a lot of chaos. And I've noticed myself in different ways that I protect. You can tell that there is just a blockage there. Somebody is, is not wanting me to even protect myself or to know what is going on. Some of you also, you are supposed to. I want you guys to be very mindful. Of different groups, gatherings and events. A lot of times what these people will do is they will throw events. What better than, of course, at the church or wherever. These are rituals. To you, you think you're just going to an event. For them, they are harvesting energy. They're getting people in vulnerable states of consciousness and thinking for them to be able to attack, to pull and siphon your energy and harvest it. These individuals, this is how they live and how they operate in order to have money, fame, success or whatever they want or protection in their legal situations. They do this. For some of them, it's annually, it's quarterly, however often. These are groups, secret societies and communities and families of people that do this on a regular. It is the way that they survive. And you have some people around you who are trying to be initiated into these into these groups and and you are the target. Some of you, you know, people who are being sacrificed and you are supposed to be that angelic, that galactic being, that chosen person that is going to save another chosen person. You will have to be the one that will discern for some of you, both you and a friend, family member or lover are being sacrificed in some way. And if you have the spiritual eyes and the gift of sight to see it, say something, do something. That is the reason why I'm here with this message. A lot of us as messengers, this is dangerous. <laughs> I don't get on here and talk about the things that I go through in my personal life because of the messages that I put out. But this is serious. For some of you, you are a guide or a protector for somebody around you or in your family. And people are trying to separate you. Some of you, you have good people around you. And what these energies are doing is they're making sure that you have a lot of chaos and turbulence and issues and obstacles in your relationships with other people who are perhaps divine beings. This is so that you will be in isolation and it's easier to attack you. Those of you who are dating or you're in partnerships, your relationships are probably being attacked. Because nobody wants you to be on the vibration right now of love. A lot of these people were not able to get from you what they wanted last year. And they're coming in with major, major attacks. Now, earlier, the oracles that came out was the star here. Number 17, you have the balancing act and then onward and upward. For some of you, these it's, you've been experiencing this since you were around 17. When people f knew what your life purpose was, they never wanted you to discover. It. And now there is a balancing act happening where you're moving onward and upward. Some of you need to stop thinking small. You don't understand how big, how grand you are to God. And the purpose that you have. I want some of you guys to just reflect over things that have been happening. I'm just going to say maybe even for the last year. 
you will notice that most likely it has been a cycle of events that just keep happening. And spirit keeps coming in to save you and protect you. Now you're going to have to be discerning and recognize that you're going to have to do your part too. Because you have people right now who have figured out that the reason why they can't get to you is because of your protection. Therefore, now they are trying to remove all of your protection. Now your spiritual team, they are aware of this. But do not be afraid to get out, get down and call on, on God, on your spirit, spiritual team, your angels, your guys, your ancestors. You have some really, really bad people who are trying to gatekeep, who do not want you to move forward. Some of you, you're, like I said, too, you're going into unions. And if this isn't happening directly to you, it could be happening to the person that is either in your life or about to enter your life. Some of you don't realize that you are a major threat to a lot of different groups because your spiritual wisdom, discernment, insight that raises awareness is blocking people from getting certain things done. Going back again. These really, really evil matriarchs or these people who are paying top dollar to these different priests and high priests to perform all of this magic. Somebody is about to have a major fall from grace. I don't care if it's the, the, the people at the church, the people at the soup kitchen in the community, whoever is covering up all of their antics and tactics to try to use and abuse and hurt innocent people they really are about to pay the cost for it i don't know if some of you guys have noticed some of the different stories in the news lately even about um different officials and how they are you know hurting these individuals let me let you guys understand something you have certain things that are being exposed now but it's been happening it doesn't stop until you expose it. There's a lot of people out here who are being hurt and harmed. They're being forced to transition before their time because you have people who are behind the scenes who are supposed to be in power, people of authority with prestige, so to say, so to speak. And they're getting away with murder. Literally. This is an energy. And when they want to get out of it, they go and they take the energy of a divine being to cover it all up and to fix it because you are an alchemist. You can transmute things. You can help. You can heal. That's why I hear on my channel, I'm not concerned about, oh, the karmic did this and that person did that. Some people, because of your purpose, because of your life, you just about have to die for it. The most iconic people, they had to die for the things that they believed in. This is no different. If you have a voice, use it, even if it's to do nothing but pray. Because this is a very serious matter. I, I don't know, but this energy has been over me for weeks. So I know for a sure fact that the, the energy that is being put in these rituals, it's a lot. This is not just a regular, this is not just a regular attack. This is to ensure that whatever union, whatever blessing, whatever abundance, whatever you have coming does not come into fruition. Because you have to keep in mind when you gain something, the enemy loses. Whatever is try people are trying to take from you, it's the only thing that's going to save these people. These individuals that's doing this, they know that their time is up. They know that their fall from grace is coming. And a lot of them, they were supposed to experience it last year. And they found a loophole. They run out of options. There are no more loopholes. Just going to pull from this evil eye deck. A co-worker is two-faced. Sending you dark spirits to work against you and to trick you. 
some of you also be very discerning because there's people around you who mean you well. These different spirits are making you think that the people who are actually for you are against you. Again, that is because those people that you think are against you are actually the ones who can help you and to protect you. Everything is not as it seems. Everything has been pretty much flipped backwards in your life. Again, you have to be the one to discern that. Your closest friends hold grudges against you. Block, solar plexus. What did I say? Here it is. The yellow. There's no reason for this flower to be like this. And there's certainly no reason for all these flowers to have fallen. It's a, it's, it's a message. Somebody has a problem with your confidence, your courage. The fact that you have pride in yourself and whatever you believe in. The, the fact that you have the willpower and the determination to keep on changing. These changes that you make, it makes it difficult for other people. People don't like the fact that although life keeps knocking you down, you keep standing up, getting stronger and stronger. They want your solar plexus and your heart chakra to be blocked. This came out in the reading yesterday. People want you to think that you're, there's never going to be anything but doom and gloom. So you may be in a position right now where you're like, I'm always by myself. I always have to do this thing this way, or there's never anybody helping me. These are these trickster spirits being sent to you to play on your mind to make you think that. No, sweetheart, you're a shining star and everything is actually working out for your greatest and highest good. You need to keep that at the forefront of your mind because somebody is trying to play with you all in your face. You got a puppet master. That's trying to control you and everything and everyone around you while they sit back and they watch for the perfect time for them to try and strike. But this is a very weak person. Because they have to get you down on your knees. For them to even be able to stand in front of you. A lot of you, this is somebody that you don't know or that you're in no communication with. They cannot get close to you. And that is the reason why they keep trying to strip your protection from you. Practice a return to sender protection ritual. This person is always trying to one up you because they have low self-esteem. This person secretly keeps tabs on your every single move. And they judge your spiritual or religious practices. This is again, like I said, somebody here who has a problem with the fact that you are spiritually wise. The fact that you're not just relying on religion or the fact that you're not just spiritual. Someone just has a, a problem with your connection with the divine. Because as you begin to awaken and this, the, uh, you know, no attack to people who are extremely religious. But a lot of people have the, a problem with the fact that when you become awakened and aware. But one thing that I'm really picking up too is some of you guys, you have people outside of you who are pissed off about the fact that you're making people who are blind aware to about what's going on. You could be, you could have a new friend and you're telling that person, hey, you need to be careful of this person or that person. Those individuals are getting mad because they're realizing that their tactics are not working. Why? Because your light is shining on everything that is dark in these spaces, not just the stuff that's happening to you, but people are assigned to you as a divine being, as a healer. And I talked about this in a reading a few days ago. I hate when people say, oh, there's a person can't change. If you say a person can't change, you're telling me that you don't believe in God. And you're telling me that I have no purpose as a healer because people change every day. I've changed. You've changed. We all change. If you're not changing, then what are you doing here? But people want to make you believe that you can't change so that you won't change and come out of the energy that they found you and they captured you in. These people have captured you and made you a slave to a mentality of being fearful and in some type of illusion so that it was easier for them to keep you stuck. So that they could use your energy so that they could steal your destiny. These people have been manifesting all types of wealth and abundance off of your energy. And now that you're waking up because you read a book, you heard a reading, you met a person, you had a come to Jesus moment, whatever it is. They're like, wait a minute. Hold on. Stop the press. What happened? Because every single time you level up, they get knocked down several notches. But baby, let me tell you. 
Somebody is about to get knocked off the square completely. The London Bridge here is about to fall and collapse. And I'm telling you, it will never be rebuilt. And somebody knows that every single thing that they have built on your name, on your energy, everything will be removed. They keep trying the same thing. Somebody keeps trying to crack this code. Putting negative thoughts in your head, hating on your spiritual and psychic gifts, jealous of the attention that you receive, keeping tabs on you. And these people, I'm telling you, what they're really trying to do is they want you to be your own worst enemy. They want you to fall into a trap of a lot of self-sabotage. I was seeing earlier people just sitting in the floor, just crying. You're in the middle of doing so. You're sitting in the floor. You're just crying. You, you're just, oh my gosh, whoa, it's me. The, the, the world is ending. That's what they want you to do. Because right in that moment, when there's divination spying on you and they see you down and out, they're sending another attack to you. Oh yeah, I'm going to make you sick today. Oh yeah, I'm going to make sure you have a flat tire. Oh yeah, I'm going to make somebody in your family sick. They're going to do everything to you and everybody around you to get you cornered. Because they can't come to you and do this themselves because these people, they hide in the dark. They hide. They're shapeshifters. That's why I've been preaching so much on the channel. Stop looking at a person's face, the body. It's the energy. I don't care what you come to me looking like. If the energy is wrong, I'm going to recognize it. Some of you are looking at people in your life, friends, family, lovers, and you're just like, what happened to that person? Somebody that that's not them anymore. And that's why I tell you, you have to be careful of who you allow yourself to be around because when they are in a low vibrational energy because of how sensitive we are to energies right now, as soon as an entity realizes, oh yeah, that person is a procrastinator. The spirit of procrastination is on their back. Oh, yeah, that person is a liar. Th those tricky spirits, they're using that person. You have people around you who can easily be used by these different dark spirits because of the darkness within them. That's why you have to keep on trying to cleanse and purify yourself and doing the shadow work. So if you're a person and you're hanging around groups of people, and you got people around you, they're jealous, they're envious or whatever. Those bad spirits and entities, they're connecting to those people because you are the prey. You are the prey for the devil. They all want to feed off of you. Some of you really don't know how powerful you are because you're still playing it small. The narcissistic abuse and the brainwashing that you've been through the majority of your life, you still haven't recognized that you're the one that's standing out. You're the one with the life force energy that keeps all of these flowers afloat. You're the one that's been giving everybody else their flowers and they're depleting you. They're draining you. Womb magic, sex magic, blood magic, ritual after ritual after ritual. These people are doing all because you have something new. When you move, when you get out of their reach, you have to stay in that box for that puppet master to walk to work. These people are very, very afraid that you're going to somehow get the key and realize, wait a minute, I don't have to be here. The cage has been opened. Fly out. I keep saying and this is jobs, whatever it is. It's like nobody is holding you hostage. Some of you is your mind is holding you hostage. Go be free fly or you're going to or the, or somebody is going to walk past and they're going to close that door on their cage and you're going to be stuck there in another cycle. Some of you well, I'm going to keep this job for another two months. No, 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 no. You need to leave two weeks. You need to be gone because if you stay there another two months, you, you're going to be stuck. The way karma is right now, the balancing act, everything is tenfold. The goodness is tenfold. If it's bad, that's tenfold too. If you are being disobedient to what God is telling you to do right now, I'm telling you, you will pay for it. If God says, leave that job, you will, I'm going to stay because I need to wait until this or that happen. You'll lose everything. 
Oh, I'm going to stay in this relationship until the kids get this. Oh, I'm going to stay here because they mama sick right now. And da, 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 da. Okay. You will be, you are going to be stuck with them. You have to decide now what you're going to do. And you have to pick if you, you rocking with the dark side or the light. You cannot be in between. You can't have one foot in, one foot out. And a lot of you guys, I'm telling you, people around you are very, very tricky right now. I see it. People, oh, you know, people that they, they're, they're covering up what they're doing. They want to be a blessing to people. No, they're called, they're making offerings. What you see is they're, ma they're, they're trying to be a blessing. No, they're actually making an offering to their deity. Bring them in, bring them in. This is how they, they do their balancing act. You'll see people all of a sudden, oh, I'm giving away stuff and I'm, I'm working on this and I'm working on that. And, oh, I just want to be a blessing to somebody. Yeah. The people at the church. They're praying on weak souls. Because, see, let's face it. A lot of the richest people spiritually are people in poverty. Right. Some of your best ideas, some of your most talented people. They're out in the graveyard. They're on the streets. Some of your strongest psychics are sleeping on the streets, but they're spiritually wealthy. These people who walk this earth, they know that. These people who encountered you before you became who you are now, they knew the value that you had. They knew your worth. They just didn't want you to see it because they decided, oh, <laughs> let me take that star off their hair for myself. Stop underestimating your power and stop being delusional about the fact that people around you do not mean you well. I'm not saying go out and be afraid, but I'm saying you need to get out of this cycle. Some of you, it's the cycle of your life and you know it's there and you keep on thinking that it's going to change. It's not going to change until you change it. There's a whole world, a whole community of people just like you who are waiting to embrace you. But every single time these different People that have these entity attachments and, and work for the dark. Every time they summon you in, you go. You can't help everybody. You help the people that you are that are truly assigned to you. Because some of these people don't mean you well. You cannot be stuck in paranoia and fear. Just like me. These messages can, can get me <laughs> hurt. But I, be, I believe, I, I know I'm protected. Try me. Try it. Because like I said, if you block, if you try to block one gift, I'm going to get three more. You try to stop one way I receive a message, I'm God going to send it to me t 10 other different ways. It is what it is. We are who we are. These life paths have, have been chosen for us long before. We're, we're just now waking up realizing what it is that we're supposed to be doing. And everybody wants to copy it. They want to be the copycat. They want to steal your energy. But you guys be very careful where you're going. People from your past especially. And people who are new from you, from past lives. I want to say this about the divine counterparts and I'm going to get out of here. Some of you, the reason why you are really experiencing these attacks so heavily is because you have a person from your past that's attacking you. And then you have a person in your life or who is about to enter your life who has people in their life who are attacking you. You may not know these people directly. But it's simple. Let's say, for instance, if you haven't even met your counterpart, but there is people are doing rituals to attack your love life. Send this person, this bad juju. Da, 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 da. It's going to hit whoever is around you. Same thing with you. Let's say you're a feminine. You connect with a masculine. They have a matriarch in their family, a dark high priestess or someone, an ex lover that's attacking their life. 
Uh, they want to attack whoever comes into this person's life that pulls them away from you. Well, if you're the one energetically that they God has, has placed with them, you're going to experience the attack. 44, 44 on the clock. So you're experiencing not just the people in your life, but these are generational curses that are being broken. Divine beings coming together to break generational curses and create legacies together. So you're in the thick of it. A lot of you, you, you hoped, you wished, and you prayed. I want a twin flame. I want a counterpart. Oh, you wanted it bad. I hope you're ready to get in the trenches for it because that's where you are now. And every single time you take a step out of it, somebody is trying to make sure that it's a sinking hole. You better watch your steps. You better pray that it's a helicopter that's going to get you off the ground quick. Because there's landmines everywhere set up to trap you right now. I would be here all night if I if I really share with you everything that I saw. But it's bad. And you're going to have to be discerning. There's no reader, no, no reading or anything that's truly going to prepare you for what is for you. Because a part of your test is getting through this. I can only get you so far. You're going to have to do the rest of the work. And that's all of us. Myself included. I don't want to put these messages out. But if I don't, who knows what could happen to me? Because that's a part of my purpose. And it is draining. It does make me have to live a set apart life just like this little this little flower here. Everybody else is standing and it seems like they blooming and blossoming. And some of us, we're being depleted. Be mindful of who you give your energy to. And the intentions that are being set when you choose to have an exchange with anybody. Be mindful of what you eat, what you listen to, where you go, who you talk to. Because the devil is using everybody as an agent. You will, if you really tune in, you'll notice every single time you go around certain people, when you want to be positive, they'll bring, they're bombarding you with negativity. That's the way heavily on your mind. Everything is, is, is an effort to get you broken down just a little bit more because that pepper master has to keep you in there. These people in your life are simply just props. You're in a matrix. You're in a maze. You're putting a lot of emphasis on the people. Pay more attention to the structure of the matrix. Do you know the blueprint and how to get out? I could care less about who else is wandering around the maze. Do you know your blueprint? Do you know where your secret door is? Because right now, you, you need it. You better know where it is. You better know where the underground tunnel is. Because this is no... These people, right, I'm telling you. The blessings that are coming for some people is on another level. And the devil is out hunting. These shapeshifters right now, whatever they were doing last year with these rituals, they're out now. And, and I'm telling you that they have strict orders from the devil, strict orders. These people are coming to you with all types of entity attachments and everything else to stop you, to block you, to hurt you, to hinder you. Don't be afraid to be in hermit mode, but don't live in fear. But a lot of you, why this is so difficult is because you're being asked to leave behind everything that you know that's comfortable to you. It's a whole new world. This is friends, family, lovers. You have to leave them all behind. They cannot go with you. They've already made a deal with the devil. They can't reverse it. They can't take it back. The deal is it's been signed, sealed and delivered already. It's up and stuck. And some people, you're still trying to take them with you. 
whole time. The only reason why they're walking with you is because they know they made the deal and they're hoping that your energy can get them out of it. That's impossible. These are impossible tasks. Oh, well, let me steal your protection. Let me steal your energy. Let me let me take your destiny. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Open your eyes. Wake up, love. Wake up. The person you think that they are, that's not who they are. Not anymore anyway. So, a lot of people right now kill them with kindness. But some people are right now, they're shopping for what they want to manifest this, this year. And they already targeted you. To be the sacrifice to make sure that they get it. This is not to scare anybody. But I'm letting you know that these attacks that are coming, you guys, they're stronger than many. We typically experience this around the beginning of the year. Then into fall, going into our harvest season. You need to get suited and booted. Get ready. If you're not already. And even if you think you're ready. You, you need extra armor for this go round. Because it's really no joke. Okay. I love you all. Please go with and so that you never go without. Pray. Cleanse. Pray some more. Because. Again this too shall pass. I don't want you to be afraid. But you do need to be aware. And keep your your sights, your eyes and your mind focused on the, the great and the beautiful things that is more important. But to get there, you first have to realize that you're in this place. That there are things happening. And it's really not behind the scenes. It's right there in your face. But are your spiritual eyes recognizing it? Some of you, these are. The, the cases and situations that have to happen in order for you to see the truth. Like I said, most people develop gifts for survival. Because of some type of ending or traumatic experience. In order to survive, something supernatural has to happen. And that's where a lot of people are now. Some, some supernatural things are going to happen for you to recognize that you're supernatural. Because you cannot get stuck in this cycle again. Or else you're not going to be in your purpose. And that's making God very angry. That so many people are trying to play his role. So I'm going to leave it here you guys. I love you. Stay protected. And I will catch you on the next one. I'll say if something happens to me. You already know. But I hope that. Many others are given an opportunity to be in their life purpose. All right. So I love you guys. Talk to you on the next one. Bye.